Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 14th of September 2023. I hope you are keeping well. It's early evening here uh, in Bangkok. Um, we just had some rain um, and I managed to get my washing in in time. So that's good news. Um, I'll be playing the Los Angeles expert level game in a moment. A regular for this channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel. I have hardly any subscribers. It's really difficult to get people to subscribe, so do me a favor. If you've watched this channel once before, please subscribe. And if you've never watched it before, subscribe anyway. Just do me a favor, right? It, it's free. Nothing bad happens when you subscribe. Uh, I know YouTubers are always calling for people to subscribe, right? And there's a reason for that, because uh, it does help the channel quite a lot. And uh, without subscribers, nobody ever watches anything. So, uh, and uh, but of course, remember this. I mean, I sometimes I, I watch some things on YouTube without subscribing, but then, um, um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh yeah, because I fear that I'm going to be recommended something that I don't want to watch again. That's why I sometimes don't subscribe. But. Um, uh, actually, what happens is if you get recommended a channel uh, several times and you just just ignore it, well, it stops recommending that channel anyway, so it won't be continued. To, you won't continue to be recommended a channel you don't watch. There we are. <laughs> uh, I was just reading the Guardian. There was an article in it about somebody named Brian Johnson. I've never heard of before, but the headline kind of attracts attention. It kind of implies somebody who thinks. They are going to live forever because they are on some kind of uh, extreme dietary and exercise regime uh, and sleep uh, regime. Uh, I don't know if the person is greatly deluded or if there is a plan behind it, but I suspect the second one. Uh, so if you read through the article, he goes on. I mean, the interview goes on and on about, uh, you know, things that he's doing. But if he uh, I think he's some kind of um, tech entrepreneur who's made a lot of money and has doesn't know what to do with it. So, um, you know, anyway, as I say, has designed this regimen that he lives by every day without variety, which is a big mistake right there. Um, but. Um, does he really understand statistics and how they work? I mean, you know, the thing is, right, <laughs> we have lots of things that will work statistically. In other words, if you do exercise every day, you are statistically more likely to have better health and thereby statistically likely to live longer. But you are not guaranteed to do that. If you eat certain types of food, you are more likely to have good health. Your diet, your diet, um, and your stomach is uh, in good condition, and you know you, uh, your health is in. You have all the nutrients that you need. You don't contract scurvy or something like that, <laughs> lack of vitamin C. Well, then you are likely to live longer. But none of these things guarantee that you will live longer, right? <laughs> Uh, statistics don't work like that. It's an absolutely ridiculous misunderstanding of statistics, if that's what he really thinks. So that's what I was thinking when reading the article. But then again, I got to a point in the article which says he has designed his own brand olive oil, which he which he is marketing. And that's where it comes to, isn't it? That's what I think it's really all about. It's just another way of... Uh, snake oil salesmanship you know let's get lots of publicity in the newspapers and on social media and when people see my name I'm bound to get a few people following me and when they follow me I can sell them something and that's really what it's most likely about that's what I suspect anyway I haven't got any proof but uh, I think we'll see his brand taking off at some point in time and he'll be very happy about it no doubt I don't care what he does, though. Uh, I just am trying to put, I mean, it's his own life. You know, lead your life in the way that you want to is what I say. But just pointing out uh, idiocy about statistics. OK, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This doesn't require statistics. This only requires logic. Six is blocking up here like so. That's going to give me a six 
in this square here. Six blocking across here and across here will give me a six here. Did I start the other game with sixes today? I think I did. The New York Times, I, I have a feeling six and two was the, were the digits that got me off, got started. I have clicked on the right. Yes, I have. Okay. So I just double check I've got the right pattern here, the right um, grid here. Six is blocking across here, across here, down here will give me a six in that square. Well, we have an 8 across here and an 8 up there, so we'll put our 8 into that square there. 8 down here, 8 up here, and 8 across here. That's given me an 8 there. 8 up and across there. Oops. There's an 8. The 2 blocks this square here, so in this column that will be a 2. And we will finish this column with 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 a 6, I think. So 6 across here, across here, up there, down there. 6 and 6 down here and across there. And that's the 6s out of the way. Uh, four across here and across here will give us four in that square. One blocking down here puts a one here and we'll finish there with three. Um, five blocking up here will give us five in this square. Two across here means that's two, that's seven. Seven across here and up here puts seven into one of those squares, blocking down seven down here, seven across there, there's a seven. Uh, one number to place over here uh, is no, it can't be an 8, can it? What is it? 1, 2, uh, 7, isn't it? So here we are looking for 3 and 9. I do. This is not the easy game by any chance, is it? I haven't clicked on the wrong puzzle. It is possible. Hopefully not. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's one of these give you everything on one side first and then let you struggle on the other side games could well be uh, we have five across here and across here so that will give me a five in that square Four up here and up here, so there's our four. Oh, damn, it's getting some messages here. Uh, um, just wondering if I should answer. No, I think I'll, I'll be okay. Uh, we have 1 and 9 blocking down here. We have 1 and 9 blocking across here like so. So we have a pair of 1 and 9 in those squares. 
So across here we'll be looking for three, five, eight, and that doesn't help. Oh well. Ah, okay, so if this is 1 and 9, when the 5s block across here, 5 will be in one of those squares blocking up there, 5 blocking down here, and 5 across here. So that must be a 5. Now we have 1 blocking across here and down here, that will be a 1. 2 blocking down here, putting 2 into... Oh, and 2 blocking across there, we can get our 2 there. 2 down, 2 down, 2 across there, there's our 2. one down here and down here and across here so that's our one this of course is our nine we know that already nine blocking up here giving me the nine there missing numbers here are three and seven seven blocks here so we get a seven in that square and 7 down blocking across and like this means we place the 7 there. At the bottom here we're still looking for a 3. Still need a 3 in that square as well. Um, 8 across here gives me the 8 here and this will be a 5. One number to get here which is an 8 I think. 8 going up here, 8 down here. The thing is I'm getting very worried that I've actually clicked on the wrong game because the Los Angeles Times in the last few days has been uh, really tough um, in, of late. Um, it's been a really tough puzzle so this is all going too well. Either I've fluked it or <laughs> or it's I, I could have clicked on an easy level game by mistake. I've done that before. I have to check. Well, you will know because it will say uh, in the original title, right? Whether it's if it's not the uh, expert level game, it will say so. I don't know if it is or not. Uh, what are we left with here? Five and three. This is three and five. This is one, two, nine here. Oh, we've got fives here. Look, five across here and across here. Five down there. There's our 5, 5 blocking down here, here's our 5, here's our 3 then. Uh, 3 up there, 3 across here, here is our 3, 3 blocking back that way, there's our 3, this is 7. 7 across here and across here gives us 7 in that square. One more number to go here, which will be a 2. Um, 2 blocking down here, we need a 2 in this row, there's the room for the two and the missing digit here is a four four blocking up here and up here there's a four um one blocking this square here so that gives me a one in this square and the missing number here is uh, a nine i think what's left we've got one blocking here so that is our one one blocks up here, there's our 1, the missing digit here is a 9. 9 blocking down here, there's our 9, the missing number here is a 2. And to finish a 3, I, I, I think I've clicked on the easy level game. That's so out of step with what we've been playing in the LA Times lately. Uh, anyway, you will know. Uh, that's it. See ya. Bye bye.